Here's pre-calc, it's problem 3-33, and it's about the volume of a trough. The trough has an equilateral triangle, and then it's 12 feet long, and it wants to know the height of the triangle. Well, the triangle is, uh, all the sides are equal, they're X, so I, I know that it's an equilateral triangle, which means we've got 60 degrees on each vertex and if I try to find the height I have to split one of the vertices in half so I'll have a 30 60 90 triangle so 30 60 90 triangles we know that um, the short side is half of the hypotenuse and the longer leg is the short leg times root 3 so in this case the hypotenuse is is x so the short leg has to be you know, half of x, x over 2. The long leg has to be root 3 times x over 2, so I wrote that as root 3 over 2x. So that's the answer to, um, to the letter A. Letter B, they want the volume of the trough. So volume is base area times height. You can just look that up if you don't have it memorized. Um, in this case, our base is a triangle, so I'm gonna get the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is one half times base times height. So um, our triangle would just be one half times the base is X and the height, remember what the height was, the height was root three over two. So I got one half times X cause that's the base and then the height is root three over two. Okay, that's my area of my triangle, and then I have to multiply that by the height. <laughs> so because it's base area times height. So here's a base area. Multiply it times the height. Well, that means I'm multiplying it by the height was 12. And the 4 and the 12 cancel out and give me 3. So I, you know, like this is 1 and that's 3. So I end up with 3 root 3 x squared, that's my volume. Oh. Okay, and then on letter C, it wants me to um, set it equal to 200. So I'm setting it equal to 200. <clears throat> or I think it says like what's the volume if it's can fit 200 when it's full or something like that. So I set these equal to each other. And then I think there might be a problem with your answer key because I just did my algebra. I divided both sides by 3 root 3, and then I took the square root of both sides. And your answer key gets like 5.7-ish, and I get 6.2. And I feel like maybe they rounded, and maybe that's the difference. So that's all I've got for you.